Hey there, welcome back. Uh, so in this particular session, we are going to, so in this particular session, uh, we are going to look at uh, how we can set up a Selenium Java project, uh, which will be using Maven and test ng uh, using the Aqua ID. Now I'm going to show you how you can create this project in less than five minutes uh, without actually performing any other steps outside the ID. So while creating the project itself, uh, we'll be setting up all the dependencies, we'll be setting up um, everything which is required for a Selenium project. So let's get started on how to do this. So here uh, in the Aqua ID, uh, when you launch Aqua ID, this is the screen where you end up with. And here you can see your existing projects or you can create your new project. So we are going to create our new project. So we'll click on new project. Uh, which should show you this uh, screen with lots of different options. Uh, as you can see, we can create our individual projects like Java, Kotlin, Groovy, or Python. Uh, but uh, the difference between uh, the Aqua ID, which is built for automation, uh, compared to other IDs is the generators. Now, in other IDs, you will find generator like Maven Archetype, but you will not find generators like Selenium or Playwright or Cypress. So here you can see uh, we have got inbuilt generators uh, for Selenium, both with Python and Java, uh, for Playwright for, again, Python and Java, and then we have got uh, Playwright and Cypress as well. So uh, all the options are available for you. Uh, you can go ahead and use these generators. Now, uh, here uh, we'll be choosing the Selenium generator. Uh, we'll be working with Selenium. And here uh, we need to fill up some options uh, like the name. So we'll give this uh, project a name called training, uh, the group and artifact will change, right? Based on that. So the artifact uh, ID would be the same as name, project name. And group, uh, we can change this. Okay, so let me change this to org.qa script. And then uh, we'll leave the location as it is. We can also create our own Git repository uh, when we are creating this project. And then we can choose our language. I'll be working with Java. We can choose our uh, build system. So which will be Maven. We can also go with Gradle. Then uh, coming to test framework, uh, both the test frameworks are present here. So we'll go with test ng for now. Uh, the important part here is uh, the JDK is selected. If not, you can also download the JDK or add your own JDK version, which you have in your system. So uh, then we'll click next. And uh, here is the interesting part, right? So here you can also uh, set up your dependencies for your project. So you can see both the versions are available here, Selenium 3 or 4. So we'll be taking the latest version. And then uh, you will see here, uh, Selenium is selected by default uh, and the version 4.25, which should be the latest. And then uh, we have got a couple of execution and reporting dependencies. So we can work with LEO framework, which is a popular reporting framework. And that is what uh, I'm going to choose. Uh, I'm not going to choose Selenite for now or uh, Selenity BDD if you're working on a BDD framework. Uh, then there are assertions framework as well, uh, which is assert J Hamcrest truth, right? So all this can be set up uh, in the beginning itself. So now uh, what we'll do is we will go ahead and create uh, the project with these two dependencies for now. And you will see how quickly uh, Aqua ID can set up this project for you, okay? So here uh, you can see uh, it has already set up uh, our project and then we will say load Maven project. It will uh, set up everything for us and uh, it will also actually give us a sample file. So this is the sample uh, test which uh, or class which has been created. And uh, then we have got a test file as well. So here you will see uh, the folder structure is created. And if you go to the pom.xml, you will see all the dependencies are also added along with your compiler plugins. Uh, and uh, you can see here Selenium Java. Then we have got some for test ng and for some for LEO reporting, uh, along with the Surefire plugin, if you want to execute it using the Surefire plugin. 
Okay, so everything is already set up for you. You don't need to set up anything. And then uh, there is an additional uh, browsers.json uh, if you want to run this uh, on Docker. So this is also present for you. Okay, but uh, just not, we are not going to use it now. Uh, there is a get ignore file as well, as you can see with all the folders and files which are not necessary for you to check in into Git. Uh, this is generally we add it to every project uh, whenever we are setting up um, Git for our project, right? This is already added for us. And then uh, there is uh, MVNW shell script as well if you want to run it uh, in your command line. And then there are the other files which are always present for a project. So as you can see, uh, our project setup is completed in less than two minutes. We just need to select uh, which uh, framework we want to use and then which dependencies, uh, which reporting framework we want to use. So if we are selecting those, uh, the Aqua ID will take care of the rest. So that's a powerful feature of Aqua ID. Your project setup time and efforts required are barely minimum. So this is all about how you can set up your project in Aqua ID. And now we can get started uh, with our Selenium scripts. And we'll also look at some of the other features uh, which are uh, present for this powerful ID, which is Aqua.